everybody. Just want to uh, let you know what we're doing here. We're getting ready to infuse one of the decks on the hypergliders. And what we do is down here along the edge here, is we have a vacuum line that runs all the way around the boat. All right. You see, and there's vacuum on the, on the far side there and all the way down the back. And then all these white lines that you see in the middle here, these are all going to be feed lines. And we actually take uh, buckets of resin down there and pour it into that bucket up here. And as we pour it in, we open the valves and we'll let the resin infuse into the deck part itself. Uh, once the infusion process is done, we will uh, let everything kick. And then after it kicks in about an hour or so, all this green plastic comes off, all these tubes come off, and you have a finished fiberglass part. Uh, and that's the deck. And then what it looks like before that is this orange mold over here. All right, so you start with an orange mold you lay up all your dry materials in that mold and then it comes over here and looks like this gets vacuumed gets infusion and then the part comes out what's happening now is josh is mixing up the resin you put a catalyst in it and that catalyst makes a chemical reaction with the resin that makes the resin harden after it's been infused into the boat part itself Resin being infused into the part now. If you look close, you see the resin travel across the materials underneath the plastic bag. Open two lines in the middle of the boat. Once that all fills in, then we'll open up the next two lines coming out. Now they're just reloading the feed bucket. For more resin. They're going to open up another line here. You see it shoot down. Flow right here. The dark sections have been infused, and the lighter blue color is not infused yet. Add some more resin. Gotta keep that resin bucket full, you don't want an air, any air getting into these lines. Just gonna open up the last line on this side. See the resin flowing in right here. Let's open the line on this side. This will complete the. This will fill in this area in here with resin. So myself, this is going quite nice.
wing is almost 100% infused at this point. See a couple little dry spots, they'll fill in. resin bucket full so we don't get any air, air bubbles in the lungs. You see on the edge here, you see it creeping in here. This is resin creeping in right in here towards the vacuum line, which is right here. Guys, the brake the brake gear is almost complete all the way around up to the vacuum line. And if we keep running the vacuum and infusing with more more resin, it'll actually make it into that vacuum line and start returning. Uh, the return will go into these what they call catch pots down here on the floor. And, uh, and they're designed they're designed to catch excess resin so the resin does not get into your vacuum pump itself. On the far side there, you see the resin starting to go up towards the vacuum line. Uh, if we get caught in that catch pot uh, before it makes it to our vacuum pump and destroys the vacuum pump. What you see in there is resin flowing into that catch pot. And, uh, that pretty much tells you that the entire part is infused with resin and now it's excess resin that's being caught in the catch pots. So what's happening now is all the valves are closed, there's no more resin going into the part, uh, although we are still pulling the excess resins out of the part through the vacuum line. What that does is gives the part a perfect uh, material to resin ratio. There you have it, that's resin infusion, and uh, the next step in this is the uh, resin and catalyst will create a chemical reaction in about 20 minutes. Uh, that chemical reaction will start heating this part, uh, not terribly hot, maybe 100, 125 degrees possibly, and then uh, what will happen is that resin will turn into a gel, and then from gel it will go to a solid. Uh, once it goes to a solid in about an hour, hour and a half, uh, we will start pulling all this plastic off the boat part and all these tubes will go, they'll get taken off and we'll have a finished boat part underneath. Uh, then the next step after that will be we will take the boat part out of the mold and do some trimming and stuff like that and it's ready to put into production to make a, to make a new boat.